setting off here in the first edition. And this is actually like the third time I've driven a first edition. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ford Bronco first edition. And I have some great news for you guys. If you weren't able to reserve a first edition and you want to purchase one, this one is available at the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo. Link in the description to their inventory. If you're interested in this, contact them. And with all that being said, let's get right into the review. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter V6. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 17 on the highway with power outputs being 330 horsepower and then 415 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the first edition. So this one is finished in area 51 and you guys will notice you've got the special decals that come with the first edition. And then you guys can see we've got the LED lights with the accent lights. You've got the white Bronco logo, the camera there in the center between the O and the N. And we have the custom bumper that comes with the first edition. This is also on the wild track. Parking sensors are integrated here into the front. Notice we have the tow hooks. And then you guys can see right through here, the Bilstein position sensitive shocks. And just like the Raptor, they kind of have this little hole right here. So you can see the shocks uh, from that angle as well. Looks really aggressive. And then you do have these skid plates underneath. It's also part of this package because well, it's the most off-road ready version of the Bronco, but that's everything for the front. Now coming around the side here, we've got 17 inch wheels and wrapped around that we've got 35s in the front and over in the rear. Now these are the beadlock capable wheels. You guys can see you've got little rivets in it. They look absolutely fantastic and you can see just how aggressive the tires are. You've got the independent front suspension right there with the Bronco. And then notice we've got the protection here along the side and then another decal for the first edition. And then this first edition, Sasquatch. Got the black mirror right there which matches, well it's not the same texture as the top, but obviously matches with the coloration. And then here is our full side view on the Bronco. And then popping over here to the rear, you guys can see the tire and wheel setup right there. Again, it's the same. And then you guys can see the shocks here at the bottom and also the exhaust tip and then recovery hooks. So here's our key fob. Notice it says Bronco there on the back and then you've got the unlock, the lock, and then the remote start as well. And then we have the most annoying opening sequence ever for a rear hatch. Every single Bronco has like two compression points. So you just like sit there and hold it for a second and then push it and then it opens fully. And then popping into the back notice we have all the goodies here. Um, so this is obviously for the top storage. You can see everything is nicely labeled that comes here with the first edition. And then can see everything underneath there as well. And um, then all the storage space. Notice we've got a 12 volt here in the back and then you have the Bronco logo there on the light, which is pretty cool. And then the Area 51's carried here to the interior, which is definitely awesome to see. And aside from that, we're gonna close that. And then we're gonna close that. Do, 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 do. Boom. Now finishing things here in the rear, we've got the taillights here on the Bronco, which are LEDs all around. And then you guys can see what the turn signals look like. And obviously the Ford logo, we've got the spare tire on the back with a camera there in the center portion. And also there's parking sensors there along the bumper and that's all for that. Now here's the door panel on the back. Now this one has the navy interior, which I'm a huge fan of because you have the blue accenting and I've always loved the door handles here on the Bronco. And then you can see here with the seats, you've got the blue there on the headrest through the center and then you've got the gray on that portion. Notice we have the rubber floor covering that has the Bronco logo. Got the window controls in the center with the charging area. No vents here in the rear of the Bronco, um, but I've popped into plenty of these, so that's all. And don't worry, we'll go over the window sticker in a little bit. Now here's the door panel at the front. Again, we've got the same navy accents right here and then you've got your door lock and unlock and then the mirrors to have blind spot monitoring. And then here's the seat at the front. So same as what you have in the rear with the blue in the center and then the gray on the outsides. You've got your power adjustments right there. And then you can see the pedal layout just down below. We've got light controls just up above and you've got the grab handle right here that says Bronco on it. And there's one more look before we pop in. So here's the steering wheel in the Bronco. Notice we've got the black leather all around the steering wheel with the black stitching. Controls here for the center stack and then your voice command controls as well. We've got our volume controls on the other side with the cruise control. It does have adaptive cruise control. Got the turn signal windshield wiper stock and it's all for the steering wheel. 
Now here's the center gauge cluster. Notice we've got the speed over there on the left side and then you've got the screen and this is the screen you have in all of the Broncos. Shows you different bits of information here off to the side here with the Bronco or you can just have it be a massive screen. Notice you have the off-road status right there which is pretty cool. Now you guys will notice that this has 47.3 miles on it and it's actually a pretty interesting story. So you guys remember how we had the hard top issues with the Bronco where a lot of Broncos were being held up in production because they had to replace the hard tops. This first edition aka my first edition had that so they actually had to drive it over to the storage lot and so that's why it has more miles than what you're normally going to see on a uh, delivered bronco so this one kind of has like a cool history behind it which doesn't really matter right now but i'm sure 50 years from now when someone buys one of these they're gonna be like this thing has some history so we have the front stabilizer bar disconnect we have the front and rear lockers and then you've got the trail turn assist stability control and then that's for the hazard lights and there's actually a little charging port right in front um, but yeah all of that right there at the top now we've got the 12 inch display here in the center first off we're going to pop it into reverse notice we got the backup camera with the bird's eye view and then you do have the zoom function there on the camera and then notice we have all of the other viewpoints we can go out of the back while we have it in reverse and if we go from that and press the camera button notice again bird's eye view and then you've got the front camera right there which again um, you have all the different viewpoints right here that you can change so like we can go there and that'll give us that viewpoint um, but aside from that as the rest of 12 inch display you guys know i'm a huge fan of it and sorry about my reflection there but response time is great i like how they have a little bronco there on that portion and it's just like what you have in the new f-150s so gonna leave it at that analog controls for the radio climate controls this has dual zone climate heated seats heated steering wheel and then notice that we've got our storage space here this is a wireless phone charger if you guys were wondering got our ford first edition plaque right there got the shifter for the 10 speed automatic and then we've got the goat mode select which we'll go over in just a moment we got our two wheel high four wheel high four wheel low four wheel auto and then the off-road cruise control all the window controls in the center and we got that for the mirror adjustment couple cup holders can that blue just really is perfect with this particular spec and then coming over here notice we've got the glove box all that fun stuff it says bronco right there and then we'll finish things up at the top before we go over the drive mode select um so you guys can well not really see because it's not bright enough there we go got all the auxiliary switches right here there's six of them and then this is the hard top which is all the first editions so you can take off these two pieces they do have insulation on them and then you've got the back piece which you do need to use some tools for um, but it's not too crazy difficult but these ones are really easy to take off and you can do that all the time and that's still going to give you a nice uh, experience and also there's like a lot of uh, stuff up there but anyways that's all for the top now back to the gauge cluster we've got the goat modes so we've got the normal eco slippery mud ruts we've got the sand and then we've got the baja as well as the rock crawl no sport mode with the first edition you replace the sport mode with the baja mode and well that's all so here's the window sticker for the first edition you guys can see everything that comes with this from the factory as standard and then obviously the fuel economy you talked about earlier and then the options oops right there and then you guys can see the base msrp and then total msrp $62,715. Of course, before market adjustment, you guys know it's pretty crazy, but let's take it out for a quick spin and see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. You can see visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, again, they do have a blind spot and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off here in the first edition. And this is actually like the third time I've driven a first edition because I drove the one in Colorado. I just drove Nate's earlier today and now I am driving uh, this one, AKA my old Bronco at this point, right? Because, well, I'm selling it. But anyways, let's talk about how the first edition drives. So first off, from a ride quality perspective, and I wanted to drive Nate's back to back with this because I wanted to see if you could actually really, really perceive the difference between a two-door and a four-door, and you can for sure. This feels just a little bit smoother than the two-door. Um, when you go over bumps and everything, yeah, it seems like it just doesn't get as upset as the two-door. Um, but again, if you don't drive them back-to-back, -back, you won't be able to perceive a difference. Now, I also have been driving around a Wrangler 4xe with a soft top. And you can definitely, like, that soft top is so much louder than this with the hard top. Like, it's a huge, huge difference. But, uh, yeah, aside from that, I mean, 
it's it's comfortable and it's quiet, especially for being a vehicle that you can take the doors off, you can take the top off, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's definitely really well insulated. And I, again, after driving the Wrangler around for quite some time this week, I will have to say that this is definitely quieter than the Wrangler from an interior perspective. Yeah, and the steering is so much better than the Wranglers because it's actually direct and it actually goes where you want it. Whereas the Wrangler, it's so floaty and all over the place, whereas this doesn't. It stays nice and like stiff and locked up and it's, it's great. It's exactly what uh, I would want. Let's get into summing things up and then obviously give this a score. The first edition, or I guess Ben Hardy's first edition. So first off, Area 51, I think, is the best color on the Bronco. That's why I ordered it in Area 51. And then this blue interior, I think, is also just killer with Area 51. With other colors, like if you had this blue with cyber orange, that'd look kind of ugly. But with Area 51, it looks really good. And yeah, obviously, the first edition having the Sasquatch package with the 35s looks really nice, looks really aggressive. Uh, it's just the way to go. And if you guys wanted to see me do full throttle in a Bronco, go watch my other first edition review I did in Colorado where I honed that. I'm not going to do that with this because, well, it only has 48 miles on it. Anyways, to the interior, really nice. Uh, it's just as nice as the interior is what you have on the Wrangler, so that it's very competitive from that perspective. Uh, technology is very similar. You do have a bigger screen than what you have in the Wrangler, so I guess the Bronco does have that going for it. And then from a driving perspective, with the independent front suspension, it's smoother on road, it's quieter, uh, hard top to hard top. It is quieter, I can definitely tell you that. And it's just a really good daily driver. And I guess if we compare this to the Wrangler, it's just as it's not as quick as like the new 4xe but it's it's just as quick if not quicker than the other engine options with the wrangler and then also the rubicon 392 that's faster than this but anyways quicker than most of the wranglers right looks really good road presence is crazy like this gets so much attention it's it's just like everyone looks at it everyone is like whoa is that the new bronco and they just it, it's it's pretty crazy um and so yeah for my overall score for the off-road segment, I'm going to give the Bronco First Edition a 10 out of 10 for this segment. So this versus the other packages. And the reason I'm doing that is it's very daily drivable. It's crazy capable off-road. I learned that in Texas when I took a Badland Sasquatch off-road and also a Wild Track as well. Gets tons of attention. It's comfortable. It's great. The First Edition is best in segment. So if you're looking at an off-road SUV that's also a convertible, then the Bronco First Edition is going to be the one to get if you can find one. Now that's going to sum things up for our video on this 2021 Ford Bronco First Edition four-door. And again, like I said, if you're interested in purchasing this one, then reach out to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo and they'll be able to help you out with that. And with all that being said, I'll see all of you in the next video.